remnants of the past. A journey to unfold. A glorious courtroom. Pottery is one of the oldest human inventions. It is a process of forming various functional vessels and aesthetic objects with clay and other ceramic materials which are fired at high temperature to give a hard and durable form. Cultural practices and techniques in pottery evolved through time from generation to generation. Local pottery makers observe cultural practices and quality techniques from their ancestors. And now, we enjoy different pottery design in majestic landscapes from different theme park. In Iloilo, specifically in the municipality of Pabia, pottery making has been a thriving industry. It is one of the ancient means of livelihood and crafts that still holds true to residents of its two barangay, Pandap, and Hibauan. Now let us unfold the ethnomathematics of pottery in one of the pottery centers of Western Visayas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of pottery. And now we will going to explore the ethnomathematics of pottery here in the municipality of Pavia. To start with, I am Ayan John Galapar and we were going to explore the beauty of pottery making. The first step in pottery is the collection of soil. Dakot is the process of collecting or gathering the soil, while Dakotan is the identified place where the best quality soil is gathered to make a clay. Dakotan for white soil in Pavia pottery can be found in Barangay Hibauan and Pandak, while Dakotan for red soil can be found in Balasan and Lemre, Iloilo. For the mathematical concept, in this process, the proportion of soil and sand is an essential factor for the perfect mixture of clay in pottery. Also, the transportation cost is considered by the pottery owner to maximize profit. In preparation for making clay, tupak is the traditional method of mixing soil using feet. But this method took more than 8 hours to attain good and quality clay. Bungsod is the collected clay and in order to attain quality clay for pottery, cutting technique using lubin has been a cultural practice. Through time, cultural practices evolved. As such, techniques were developed and gihit was introduced to modern pottery by using a potter's wheel. In addition, commercial mixer was used as modern soil mixing method in order to save time and energy. For the mathematical concept, this process involves estimation of the volume of water to soil. Estimation means to find a reasonable guess of the actual value to make calculations easier and realistic. The greater the power output of the commercial mixer, the higher the efficiency rating. Efficiency is the energy output divided by the energy input and expressed as a percentage. During Tupac, a pattern of clay represents a fractal. A fractal is a pattern that the laws of nature repeat at different scales. In mathematics, it refers to any of a class of complex geometric shapes that commonly have fractional dimension. Next step is the preparation of a ball clay. Masa is used to create ball clay through hand mixing. 
The frequency to attain quality clay is 3 times for expert and 5 times for the beginner. For the math concept, the size of the ball clay is directly proportional to the size of the finished clay products. Also, direct proportionality applies to the size and cost of the product. For example, the larger the pugon, the higher is the price. In clay molding method, pick pick is the traditional method of molding clay using stone known as bato bantiling and piece of bamboo to serve as a guide in making a spherical shape such as kolon and banga. While gihit is a technique in clay molding using the potter's wheel. The mathematical concepts, namely circumference and rotation, can be seen in a potter's wheel. Also, the steel point at the center radiates a formal symmetry. The circular motion in pottery also represents the graph of an Archimedean spiral and logarithmic function. There are different ways of molding clay based on the direction in making ball clay and pinch method. Start with the center, press downward, pull or stretch sideward for its diameter, and lastly, pull upward for its desired height. Potters also use alternative measuring tool like sticks. The stick is used to measure the height and diameter of the pot. In addition, some of the designs of the clay pots represents a hyperbolic space. When molding, the sticks serve as a guide in making a hyperbolic space. The radius and diameter of the clay pot determines its circumference. Circumference is equal to pi times twice the radius or pi times the diameter. Hand techniques are also significant in creating different forms, shapes, and designs of pottery. The angle and dimension of the desired pottery design depends on the hand techniques used by the potter. Pottery is made by forming a clay body into objects of desired shapes such as palayo or native cooking pots, pugon or firewood fired stoves, banga or drinking jar and water containers, bonsai pots, flower pots, vases and figurines, the wood known as a larger pugun in Miyagao, pagoda and other pots related to landscapes. The molded clay will be subject for air drying. With this, we consider the time and temperature. Pagba is the local process of burning clay through open fire. It is traditional method where the potters use uhut and labhang to harden the molded clay. Today, modern pottery use large oven to burn the molded clay. And molded clay undergoes compression of shape after Pagba. For example, during Gihit, a pot with a diameter of 19 inches will become 16 inches in diameter after Pagba. If you are proud of your culture, type Promote Cultural Practices in the chat box. Let's enjoy the pottery of Iloilo, where past meets the present.